Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a video about customizing your lock screen on the Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini. Now, for past comments, this is the S3 Mini, why would I lie about it? And you see it's really small in my hand, I can grab it. So the first thing ev nearly everyone will be greeted with on the S3 Mini, or most Samsungs, is a lock screen. And you wonder to yourself, you wonder to yourself why can't I get any widgets? like Facebook on my lock screen, why can't I customize it at all? As you can see, it's really basic. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize it really, really easily. And a little trick, which is easy, but not, not a lot of people know. So let's get to it. First thing you want to go in is into your settings and lock screen. Now, the first thing you want to do, and you have to know, is if you want to customize it, you cannot have a pin as your as your security. Your security has to be minimal, so you have to choose swipe, motion, or none. You can't use pin, password, pattern, face and voice, or face unlock. It has to be so I'm gonna choose motion. Okay. So now as you can now we're gonna go back on back onto the screen. And as you can see it's full of customizations. Now the reason for this is because I did customize it before so now I'll bring you step-by-step -step tutorials on how to customize it and different customizations. So, you want to go in settings, lock screen options, as you have them now before you don't. And let me just turn that, turn these off for now. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you is owner information. Not many people click that because it doesn't look too interesting. But what it is, is a lifesaver. As you can see, I've already put in a text here. If found, please call police. Thanks. You're probably wondering what this is. Basically, it's a text which is shown on the lock screen as soon as you unlock it with the off button. Now what I'd write is my home number, so as soon as someone finds a phone, hopefully if they're not robbers, which is a little bit unlikely, but it has worked for me in the past, they'll unlock it, find the number, call it, and say they found your phone. So what I usually do is put in my phone number, but I'm not going to do this. So you want to put in a text, put, if found this phone, please call, and then put a house number, or your mum's or dad's number. You want to press OK, then you want to go on your lock screen. Now, as you can see, you might think what's changed. If you look closer, under the time and date, it says, if found, please call police. Thanks. Now, this is extremely useful as it's the first thing you see when you unlock it along with the time. So that's the first little customization. So let's continue and go to the second one. You want to go in settings, as you usual, lock screen. Then the options. Now, here you have so many and I'll start with the most important. So let's start up with wake up in lock screen and press select. Now from here you can go on, you click set wake up command and you have all sorts of options to open music as I've done here. Wake up function one, play music. Wake up function two, open camera. So you, you can set functions, I'll set a third. As you can see you have all this, these options. You can choose unlock, you can choose play radio, record voice, play music, all of those. And let's say we want to record, uh, we want to check for missed calls. Missed. 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 So as you see, you can choose your own message. You can choose your own message to choose to unlock it. Some words were not recognized. Oh, whoops. It Please was... repeat word or phrase again. As you can see, I was talking to you, so it didn't... It wasn't the last one, so sorry about that. So you can just set commands, and you can choose what to say. For example, for missed calls, I just choose the word missed. I've already set in some functions, so let's test them out. music you see it played music now before you go what the hell is this doing on your phone 
It's my sister's phone. I do not listen to One Direction or whoever that was. I am not uh, what well, someone recently commented a directioner. So that was the first one. By just saying music, I played started playing music. Now the second one is picture. Picture. As you can see, this one isn't working. Let me just go out and back in. Picture. So that one didn't work. I don't think I set that one. But as you saw, the first one did work. And that can be done by going into settings. I'll show you quickly again. Lock screen, lock screen options. And set wake up command. Picture. So let's try the camera thing again. Picture. As you see, there it opened the camera. So it was just a little minor little problem there. It does always work. It was just me being a bit of an idiot. So that was another customization. Now let's go back and choose another one. Go lock screen, lock screen options as usual. And then the next thing I'm going to use is information ticker. This is extremely, extremely useful if you want to set news headlines which can be really interesting if you're in class, um, being bored out of your mind, and you just want to look at a few headlines. So what you want to do is click on that information ticker and enable it. Then you can choose content type, stock, Facebook, news, just news. You can choose Facebook notifications too. So I'll just choose news, and then settings. And then you can auto refresh every three hours, six, twelve, or never. So I'm I'm gonna choose, let's just say, let's just choose United States. Done. And now if I go onto my lock screen, as you can see at the bottom, there is a sort of menu which you just push up and I need to select my country, which I did, so I don't know why it's saying that. Go back on. Okay, let me choose England. Go with American problems. Let's see if the British will save us. No. So, oops. So that is the third option. I think it was the third. Oh, there you have it. You see, I just need to go back. So there you have headlines. All you need to do is scroll it up. And you have Obama says no apologies over US security leak probe. And you have all sorts of headlines which can be really interesting. And you can easily just refresh as you see there. Sorry about that. So as you can see it's really simple. So let's get to the next one. So go on settings. Okay this is becoming very very repetitive. And then the last one I'll show is shortcuts. You want to enable it want to then click on it and as you can see you have three shortcuts which I set before and you can change these let's say oh, I don't want camera because I've already got that on the wake up call you select it delete and you can add oops sorry and you can add any single one you want if you click on it so you see I have all the apps I can choose so tempo on two so now let's go into lock screen. And as you can see, I have those widgets there, which you just hold, swipe, and then you start playing Temple Run 2, for example. So that was my video on how to customize your lock screen. As I said, you do have to choose a, non, a not a very secure lock screen option for these to work, but it's worth all the cool little widgets. You can also explore your own if this isn't enough. So thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, like, give me your feedback. Peace out, guys.